tasters. It's 8.15 in the morning and I'm heading to the shops because we're filming a video today. Let's make a wine video. Good morning, tasters. Today, we're making a film about the body of wine. Wine lovers often refer to the body of the wine that they have in their glass. What on earth are they referring to? Like many terms about wine, the concept of um, body can be misleading. The body of the wine does not refer to any shape. It refers to the weight of the wine. Or, more accurately, it refers to the sense of weight that wine creates in our mouths. The body of wine is described as light, medium and full. Light-bodied wines have a weight similar to non-fat milk. Medium-bodied wines have a weight reminiscent of whole milk. Finally, Wines with a full body create a sensation similar to that of cream. Many factors can contribute to the body mouthfeel of a wine, such as tannins, glycerol, residual sugar, and also barrel aging. The most important factor, however, is the alcohol content of the wine. In other words, the higher the alcohol content of the wine, the more viscous the wine becomes. And that creates a feeling of greater weight in our mouths. Wines with an alcohol content less than 12.5% are considered light-bodied. Usually, wines with a light body are white and they feature a refreshing, bright acidity. A good example is Riesling. Wines with an alcohol content between 12.5 and 13.5 are described as medium bodied. In this category, you will find most rosé wines as well as more robust white varieties such as Chardonnay and Sauvignon Blanc. If the wine contains more than 13.5% alcohol, then it is said to have a full body. Wines from varieties such as Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot and Syrah usually produce full-bodied wines. Most wines with a full body are usually red. However, sometimes certain white grape varieties such as Chardonnay and Viognier can also produce full-bodied wines. This is especially true if they come from a warm climate like that of California. Why? because sunshine and high temperatures produce more sugar in the grapes. Sugar is in turn converted to alcohol and more alcohol equals more body. A word of warning, however, don't assume that more body automatically equals more quality. A Riesling from Mosul, Germany or a French Pinot Noir usually have a light body. However, they are generally very high quality wines. 
On the other hand, some very alcoholic wines have a full body but lack balance and elegance. Next time you taste the glass of wine, hold it in your mouth a little bit before swallowing it and think about its weight on your tongue. Is it light? Is it medium? Or is it full? Is it light enough to enjoy on its own? Or does it need food as a counterweight to keep it in balance? Whichever end of the body spectrum your wine is on, above all, enjoy the taste. Tasters, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Which wines do you prefer? Light, medium or full bodied? I will see you on the next video. Cheers.